Um, say, so, hey, man, so let's get into it. I mean, you got anything you want to talk about before we get into the topic? <laughs> that- nah. Okay. Let's so, so let's get into it, man. Um, Nasty Nas uh, drops his latest project, Magic 2. Uh, five albums in three years, five albums in two years. I think this run started in near 2020, I believe. Um, yeah, that's when King's Disease dropped. Yeah. Yeah, King's Disease. So we had a King's Disease and a King's Disease 2, followed by a Magic Project, followed by King's Disease 3, followed by Magic 2. So this guy's on fire. I see Ant the Great One shaking his head over there. Um, mm-hmm. You hear the project? I heard it. I listened to it on last, no, Friday night. Friday night, I threw it on right after SmackDown. Feel me? And I was, I was, I was, I was, no, I was, I was hyped to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I did, I did not appreciate it, to be honest with you, bro. I did, I did not like this album at all. Not even going to lie to you. It sounded like um they let Nas pick all the beats. And I'm not saying the content of the album was was sonically it just was trash to me. I ain't know a lot. The beats, all the beats was trash. I did not like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I like the one with, with Savage on it. I ain't gonna hold you him and 21 Savage. I kind of like that one. I like the joint with him and 50 a little bit. I don't know what the fuck 50 was talking about. Like, but anyway, for me, I could have did without this album. Personally, I could have did without it. Personally, me, I I, I like the project. I love the project. I know you would. I know you would. You come no, on. Man. I knew you was going like it. I knew you was going like it. I would have said it. I would have said it was trash if I thought it was trash. I thought it was pretty good. Um, all the projects confuse me. I'll be honest with you. I don't like none of the projects. <laughs> first listen, I don't. The only one I liked first listen was King's Disease because my expectations. The first, the first King Disease, right? Yeah. Because yeah. my expectations were low. So oh, and I magic said, and magic. Oh, I'm just the first like, magic. I, I'm used to I'm, I'm used to Nas being nonchalant with his creative abilities. Like he's a lyrical genius, he's a lyrical uh, uh, king. But as far as the energy, I don't really be feeling it in all of his projects. So after King Disease One, because my expectations were so low, I was just like, I can't wait to hear it. So when he said King Disease Two, I'm like, bro, you just dropped a dope project. Don't mess it up. And he didn't. Then Magic comes out of nowhere. He didn't. King Kill Three him. came out of nowhere. That's the best one. And like I'm listening to Magic, and I'm just, mm. huh? So, so I'm now I'm listening to Magic, and once again, my ex, I, I can't help it. I just got this energy. I think he's the only one that was like, "Yo, Nas is about to drop," and I don't know what to expect. Even though this man has just dropped five dope straight projects, it's just like so when he works on so when he drops six six one, which is coming because he said by the time you hear this one, we're halfway through our next project. I'm going to be listening Jeez. to it like. I'm going to be listening to it like I don't know, and then Jeez. after a few listens and a few listens, I'm going to think that it's a dope project because Nas has never been the Nas has never been the problem. His lyrical mm-hmm. ability has never been the problem. It's always been, been the music. It's always been the music behind him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it hasn't always been like that. He came in the game with the dopest producers ever. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't understand the like I don't know what the what, what's the theme of this album. Like, what's the thing? Like, well, is it magic? Yeah, I would say it is because you. The first song was called Al- uh, Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Me, I, yeah. I, mean, I figured that out. I said, "What? The f-? I, I'm looking at this. <laughs> like, I don't know what this is." But then, as he kept saying, I said, "Oh, it's Abracadabra." I never knew. I, I never had okay. to spell that in my life. So, <laughs> I'm supposed to know it's Abracadabra. <laughs> so, it was never one of the spelling spelling words in class ever. So African mm-hmm, Abra, mm-hmm. and he got the other song called uh, Black Magic, and then he's got a song named after Magic Ir- Irvin Magic Johnson. So it's word is like yeah. Theme the theme I, is magic. I didn't like the beats, man. I didn't like the beats, yo. To be honest with you, it's never like you said. It's never his his lyrics. It's the beats. For me, it was the beats. Like I did not like what he was rapping to. Like yeah. you know what I mean, like I could have did without this. Yeah, I but think that it's the, well because we haven't had and it's not a it's not a mercy rule or nothing like that was because like we haven't had any hot music but honestly there's nothing else out so in a sense you kind of like it's july going into august and nobody has really dropped at least kind of our artists i mean you got some people going crazy right. over Thug. you got some people going crazy over thug but that's not who we running yeah. to sam right. goodies for <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 let's take yeah. it back to them goody days. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, if I'm gonna get on that bus, 
just to go buy me a Quick Bridge Mall, bitch. Quick Bridge Mall, just to go buy me a CD for 1999. It ain't going to be one of them. You, know, you, you best believe it's going to be some fire, bro. Like, what is fire, like especially that's all you going up there for? Yeah, hell yeah. 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 I, I wasn't going for that magic too, though. I'm sorry. I'd have been disappointed. I like I, I really I really like the project. I think he's five for five. I think listening to the project and I think that what he's doing is separating himself from all the other rappers. And I think that his I get it and I get it. I think this is the first time he said without it, without saying it that I am the greatest rapper. Because on the song, on yeah. one of the songs he said, Y'all list, he, he mentioned something about the list. And I don't remember a list having him less than five. So obviously, if he's not happy with five, four, three, or two, like this is my first time really hearing him say, yo, I mean, besides back in like 96, 97, when him and Big went at it, this is the first time I've heard him in a long time say, yo, I am the best. I am the GOAT. Well, yo, this is fake. I put my heart and soul into all of this. You already know um, he already been compared to some people called the GOAT, which is Jay-Z. So him, that's the only person Jay-Z get compared to ever. Is is fucking Nas, feel me? So he is in the goat category. Um, I think we could have did without this project. I think Hit Boy didn't do the whole project. I think he only did like a couple joints on there because it don't sonically sound like Hit Boy. And I only heard his tag like once on this on the whole album. So I think if if Hit Boy would have did the whole album, it, we I would be saying something differently. Well, we don't I mean, got no proof that he didn't. He said he did. Hit Boy was promoting. He said Hit Boy and Nas. That's all he said. Oh my God, man! I only heard the tag on one joint, man. I think that's the joint with him and Savage, if I'm not mistaken. You yeah, but man? they was on Instagram with and Hit Boy. Was, yeah, it's it's it's, it's Nas and Hit Boy. Ah uh, man, I don't I don't know, man. Like I don't know. I was so hyped after Magic, after the first Magic. I thought, you know, what I mean, this one was going to just, you know, what I mean, but they're not. Bad, like we've heard bad projects from certain artists. Like this isn't. A I'm bad not saying it's bad. I'm right. not saying so, no. I'm not saying it's bad or it's trash. I'm not saying that at all. Like I'm right. saying the beats was trash. I saying the okay. music, the beats he was rapping to was trash for me. But look at like man. this. He's in because a anyway. All right. So look, peep this. Peep this real quick. It's a Nas and Wu Tang concert coming up in September. Yeah. If you in the spot, do you want him to play any of them records yet? Bro, I don't want to hear none of the new music. I'm no. asking you. All right, all right, all right. But I don't care. But I don't all care. Right. Magic Two was a classic. You don't go to the concert for new music. You don't. Beyonce on tour right now from with new music. Her Renaissance album is the newest thing she ever came out with. She's on tour right now off her new music. Okay, bro. so you can't. But that's, in hip hop, but in hip hop, do you want the locks to do anything past? <laughs> I, 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 you're not going to see D Block. You hit them perform anything past uh, We Are the Streets. Give me a break. Come on. Some Rough Rider records, some Jada Kiss solo. <laughs> they will, but they will, though. But they are, they, it ain't going to be, it may not be album joints. It may be, um, you know what I'm saying? Hip uh, mixtape records. But still, but you don't want to hear. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like, exactly. if, if yeah. Kiss dropped the project tomorrow and said a lot's going on tour. Cool if he plays them, but you're really going for Money, Power, Respect album. We are the Streets album. Uh, uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that that's just music, yeah. period, bro. Like it doesn't matter yeah. like, if, if Jay Z dropped a classic, bro. I'm going to his show to hear him saying reason a uh, reasonable doubt. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm saying. But he but he can also do it because he tore it off American Gangster, bro. He tore it off a of four four four. That was all new music, bro. Like you feel what I'm saying? I don't he got a whole don't, show. He Listen, uh, th that American Gangster album, bro. He got he went on a whole tour just performing that record, bro. You can go on YouTube. Hammer I'll, have to, Ball, I'll have to look into that because I don't really recall. Him four, 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 four. I know he did a B four, side. Four, four, four. I know he did. I know he does certain projects, but I don't. I didn't remember him doing. But at the end of the even day, even the Magna Carta album, even the Magna Carta album, he was performing Tom Ford on the road and shit like that. People, oh, people Ooh. was trying to hear that. You feel me? But I just saw it on Instagram. But, but just I just saw it on Instagram. Nas was performing. Wherever he was at, this record. So people wanted me. I'm I'm saying me personally. I don't want to hear the new music. I'm only going for the nostalgia of why I was a fan of yours. For me, Magic right. and the King's Disease. All he's doing is patting his stats. It's he's he can't yeah. he can't yeah. hurt his career because if it was trash, we would just judge him based on his earlier work. But because it's good, it's adding on. We do that to everybody, bro. He like Kobe in the last game. He should have been taken out. Feel me? He just <laughs> excuse me. He keep going. Yeah, it's like yo, going. sixty. Yeah, I, I get it. Sixty to finish your career is crazy, but let's say he didn't. So what? He's still Kobe. 
We, yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, 60. Damn. Stats. We know he you bad. Did, this is fifth. This is fifth album in three years, though, bro. And it's nice, though. That's crazy. Shout out to him for that, though. That's crazy. Um, He's still putting it, putting that amount of music out. Now, this is just a rumor. Just a rumor. Apparently, mm-hmm. allegedly, Nas mentioned dropping King's disease last week. And it was kind of like a pump fake. And what your boy Sean Carter did was through his uh, museum joint on that. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> King says he. Uh, Damn, these niggas is forever funny, yo. Yeah. So, so <laughs> <laughs> this shit is forever funny, yo. Like, yeah, so forever. Some are saying that Jay Z made his announcement for his museum the week of Magic's dropping, but it wasn't the real release week of Magic. So Jay Z really wanted to put his museum up against. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. And, and we've been saying this shit for years, though, bro. And the world's starting to catch on now. Cause I see little clips of you know, niggas in the industry talking about that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. yo, it's funny crazy. now, bro. Everybody knows it now, bro. Everybody knows it now. Nas even said it himself. He said it himself in one of them talk shows when he threw out King's Disease Two. I think um that was the day Jay Z threw all the Grammys up. On all the Grammys up. It was just like, yeah, that's what these guys, man. Childish. Yo, this shit crazy. Out crazy. Niggas is um, petty as hell. Like, <laughs> I like the project. Um, I think that I want to talk about Fifty Cent real quick. Um, okay. So the big, the 50, yo. the big promotion was Fifty is on the project, and Fifty fans got hyped. And then when the song came out, ninety percent of Fifty fans was just like, "Bro, the verse was like, it's, over. it's been over." Bro, it's, I've been telling you this for years, bro. It's been over. It was over after the massacre, yo. Really? I mean, Curtis. You can see Curtis. Curtis. No. After Curtis, bro, it was a rap, bro. I promise you, yo. No. Bro. No. You don't think so? No. Why? Because Baby baby By Me? No. Why? Because Look, me, Baby By Me? What? Let me... Let me... No. I like that song, though. Have a baby by me, baby. I like it, too. I like, I like that song. I ain't gonna hold you. I like that but song. <laughs> my, thing, my thing with 50 is... And once again, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. This is the first song 50 was featured on where he didn't take it over. No hook. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't really have influence on the record. He came in somebody else's record and just tried to go flow flow with them, which is not his strength. So if I'm Hit Boy and Nas, I just would have set up, I just would have set 50 up for something, uh, uh, an easier alley-oop. Because trying to follow that flow Nas had on off his hours. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, 50 had to go get yeah, the hate or, and love and flow. To, to well, he should have went out. first. First of all, he should have went first. Nah, man, he should have went first. But I like the way he came in. I'm like, oh shit, fifty about to get him. But then he stopped rapping as soon as he, as soon as the the pot got hot. <laughs> and then, and then as fifty tries to be mature, his shit talking kind of goes down because he got nobody to talk shit to. So now he don't even know what to right. say because it it's not even real. Like. I used to be yeah. his bread and butter. Like, yo, I'm gonna get these niggas. But then now it's just like, yo, where we going? Get these going guns. Now? Damn, y'all niggas is millionaires, bro. What are you doing? I bet that's what I was telling you, bro. Like this shit been going on for years, though, bro. After I get money, matter of fact, no, like you said, after Baby by Me, after that little era, bro, it was a wrap for him musically, bro. He couldn't do nothing after that. He can't make a hit to save his life right now. I don't. Well, well, well. I want to talk about that because I don't think that's fair for him because I think he does real good with themed music. Meaning, if you look at his TV shows, Powers. The thing I can rap about that thing, uh, the BMF theme song, the 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 uh, book three theme song. If you give him a theme like his okay. Curtis mixtape, I'm okay. the man. If you give him a theme, he can do it. For him to just start rapping out of nowhere after he's been an executive <laughs> for like ten years, like this is like, he he's an executive. So, so what are we? So what are we doing it for? Just to do it? Are we doing? I don't it know just to do why. It he, well, you got to get. But once again, this is how. You, this is why I'm trying to give Nas his flowers. And let other people know how hard it is to rap like this at 49 50. If you're not in shape, this is why Nas run is incredible. Because I'm trying to bring it back home. This is why not the Nas run mm-hmm. is incredible. If you're not lyrically in shape, if you didn't do it, that's like we talked about all the time. And when we used to write, try picking up that pin down door. You're out of shape. You're going to be trash until you work out the kinks. 50 decided yeah. to work oh, out yeah. the kinks on Magic 2. He decided. He decided. He decided to leave that verse there. He knew that verse was trash. He knew that verse was trash. He just. He just decided to leave it. Cause oh, I. That's crazy. Like I don't know. 
that my only issue is he decided to leave it. He knew he could have came back and reworked on it, but Bro, he's got listen, rapping. This is not the first time Fifty has rap behind Nas either, yo. Like he he came at the Nas with a mean verse on that who I what I, who I rep with. That's on that in his prime, that though, mixtape. But, but, but in his That's prime. It, but that, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. He's capable of doing it. He he has but, the capability to do that. He has to be in his prime. I'm saying when you grab mm -hmm. him off the executive and he still got his suit on, you're going to get that verse from 50. That's what I'm saying. And, and that's why the don't 50... Really know what to say really like. You don't know what to say. He really took the hate of the love and flow and put it on his soul. Get, uh, <laughs> him. Get, get, like he, he, that's what he did. He didn't know what to say because he can't He can't rap about Ja Rule no more. We don't want to hear that. It's over. Yeah, it's his over. last album, he was talking he can't about... can't rap about guns no more. In a story frame. <laughs> you can if you're telling a story. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. yeah, if if 50 just be like, I got the bulletproof vest on, we know he bullshit. We know he lying. <laughs> so, yeah. He, yeah. He, he's in a hard... He's, he's not in, in shape right now. He's not in shape he's right in now. Shape. That's all. That's all I'm he's, saying. He's not in shape. I love yeah. 50. He's just not in shape. And you got to be able to mm -hmm. say, listen, he's one of my favorites, but that verse was horrible. I just like that two rivals have come together because Nas, because 50 loves Nas. Like, 50, Nas took 50 on tour, the Nigel Diamonds tour, when he didn't have to. So mm -hmm. I love yeah. that those two are cool again. It's just, you know, it just shows how powerful Nas is and what Nas is doing is incredible. And I saw an article where it says, this is probably the greatest run in hip hop. But then I said, wait a minute, let's compare it to LL's comeback. Let's, let's, let's do it, let's do it. Which one? Well, LL has a lot, he has had a lot. The eighties and nineties and the 2000s. That's what he I'm had, saying. So which era 80s, are we talking about? The 2000s era? I guess we can go like your last lead. Because like the 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 I think the issue that L has in our eyes is he started younger, so he fell off quick. So he fell off sooner. So you could think L, L might have some fire today. In my mind, I'm like, he doesn't need it. He's rapped longer than all of them. He don't need it. Yeah, he don't need it. But he's working on this project called Force. So guess what? We got to judge you. If it's not good. Yeah. You're going yeah, to lose. Hard, remember, remember, LL yeah. was the first one with a 20 year career. We praised him for that. Yeah. Now, almost anybody can do that. So now, what made you invincible? What made you the goat? Ten other guys can do. So when they go, hey, Nas has the best run in hip hop. Ah, uh, once again, that's my man's. But I think about LL when they say that, and I might gotta say, LL, he's smoking your boots right now, off the strength of. This guy just did five in two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. And that's, that's they're, crazy. They're, they're, they're critically Qual quality projects, though. Qu quality, quality projects, though. Like, yeah, yeah. quality and, projects. And, and, like, and, and you might say you don't like it, but you comparing it to the other four he did. Hey, bro, right. if I do five right. and one of them is like the greatest thing in the last 10 years, bro, that's. And that's, don't get me wrong, bro. I'm not shitting on this album, bro. I don't yeah, want people, yeah. I don't want you to think like I think it's trash and he shouldn't have. I mean, I, I, I personally, sonically, like, Musically-wise, I, I could have did without it. You know what I mean? And that's it. You know I mean? um, he's had, and, and one more thing that we're going to move off Nas, but he's kind of had this curse follow him since Illmatic. It's like once he did Illmatic, I like it was written. Mm -hmm. Since he did Illmatic, yeah. people have been saying, well, it's not Illmatic. But it's not Illmatic. And that's just been his career. Or it's yeah. not, it is written. Or not, it's, it was written. Because a lot of people, like, it was written over Illmatic, right? Yeah, 